time now for your Motran Minute. A warning, Basin drivers first. Dustin Fossil with the Motran Alliance is joining us live this morning. Dustin, thanks for waking up with us again. Oh, good morning. Happy Friday. Happy Friday to you, too. <laughs> so there's a new project expected to take place in North Odessa. That's right? Yes, ma'am. Exactly right. So this project is an overpass project and one that's been a long time time coming. It's been in the works for a good while now and it's up there on Loop 338 and 385. And uh, this is the first of the overpasses that we're going to have built on Loop 338, one that we're very proud of and excited for. Uh, it's something I've talked about for a little while about how we're going to want a free-flowing loop system around Odessa. And right now we just finished installation of the last few lights over there on 52nd and 56th and the light system at Yukon. Of course, you have one there, and this will be the first of the overpasses that we're going to have built. Awesome. And Dustin, can you tell us a little bit about what we can expect with this project? Sure. So, as with all overpass projects, I generally go by the rule of thumb. They're around the $20 million mark. This one's $25.3 million, so a little more expensive because it is going to be a pretty significant interchange. You have a loop system with the U.S. Highway at 385. Um, this project is as I said, a little bit larger. So it's going to be about 18 months. We should see early 2022 completion date. Um, and so in the meantime, it's going to be a pretty pretty uh, massive project. So what can Permian, drive it, uh, Permian Basin excuse me, drivers expect as far as the traffic goes? Sure. So traffic is going to be a little bit difficult. That's a main corridor up north into Andrews County. And we do have significant truck traffic and, and some, some uh, residential traffic as well. Uh, but we anticipate that there will be some closures on 385. They may close it down to either uh, what's typically the northbound lane. They'll have both uh, north and south in that one side or vice versa. So we'll be minimizing some lanes on US 385 and, and similarly with the loop. you got to be real cautious when you get there. There will be a lot of flagging and there will be some signs out to really... Uh, mitigate what's happening there. Just pay attention. It could change overnight. Uh, there's a huge development out there in North Odessa. So those drivers who have to hop on every day for work, just be careful. It should be easy. Well, good information there. Thank you so much again, Dustin, for everything and informing us. Absolutely. My pleasure. Have a good one. You too. And if you'd like to keep up with all of the road projects in the basin, visit Motran.org or follow them on Facebook at Motran Alliance.